I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on cumulative frequency graph. The question is how to determine median and interquartile range or percentiles from cumulative frequency graph. So you will plot a cumulative frequency graph and you need to answer these questions. Well let me sketch one here. Let us say this graph represents the growth of a plant let us see so this graph represents growth of the plant in first nine days so we started from zero ended at nine so let's see this is a uh, number of days and that is let us say height uh, in centimeters okay so we just measure the height in centimeters for a plant for nine days and this is the data which we get now from this data you have to find what is the median and what is interquartile range so that's the question for you you can pause the video answer the question now as you know median is the middle value is 50 percent of the whole right right in the center so that gives you the median from the cumulative frequency graph, we can actually find median as the center value. Now to find the interquartile range, we'll have to find the first quartile and the third quartile. Their difference will give us interquartile range, correct? So how do we find those? Well, the answer to this is we can write this growth as percent growth. Now, if I write this growth as percent growth, in that case, we know median Q2 will be 50%. Q1, the first quartile, will be 25%. Q3 will be 75%. Interquartile range will be difference between Q3 and Q1. Okay. So that is how we can quickly calculate all the values. I hope you got the concept. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let me make another scale on the right side. And this one will be on percent, right? Or percentile. So let me call this as percentile. So I'm calling this as percentile. So we have 70 as a whole. So what is 50% of 70? So this could be 50% of 70 we want to calculate. It could be 0 0.5 times 70 and that is 35, correct? So median for us is 35. So at 35, let me sketch, draw a line. This line represents the median, right? Wherever this line cuts the graph, we can kind of go back down here and find the value. So for us, the median is slightly more than three days, right? And if you like, you could call this as, as less than 3.2 days. Well, time is continuous, so we could always break it down to hours, right? So in this case, I'm taking liberty of dividing it into, into decimal values. Q1, the 25% is what? Is half of this, right? 25% of 70 is half of 35, so it is 17.5. Is it okay? So for 17.5, 25% quartile, 17.5, so this is 15, let's say this is 17.5, we draw another line to indicate the 25% mark, correct? So that becomes 25% mark, this is 50% mark, and that seems to be one and a half day. So we get here 1.5 days. Okay. For 75%, it is 3 times 
17.5 or you can add this up or you could calculate using calculator which is 0 0.75 times 70 right so let's use the calculator so any method could be adopted correct 0 0.75 times 70 in decimals is 52.5 let me write it down so we have 50 2.5 so let me draw a line for 52.5 well it's kind of uh, here midway between 50 and 55 so that represents the third quartile so that is 75 percent so that is the value which is let's say here five days is that okay so from a cumulative frequency graph, you can actually do the reverse calculations and find the quartiles. Now as an exercise, I'd like you to sketch box and whisker diagram from the given data, right? So let this be an exercise for you. I hope this helps to understand the concept of using cumulative frequency graph and analyzing it in different terms and finding the spread or averages as we've done here in this particular video. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn. Thank you and all the best.